Rivian have come out and said something which is kind of crazy. They are saying that all future Volkswagen Group EVs, meaning all future Volkswagen Group cars, will be using Rivian's EV platform. Now, the SEC would probably be prosecuting Rivian for making this statement because it's patently false. But um, you know what? It's barely changed Rivian's stock price. Their stock was valued at, uh, unfortunately, 130 US dollars um, around about four years ago. And it's now sitting at 14 US dollars. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. So what's the truth behind Rivian's EV architecture? And why is it that the Volkswagen Group won't actually be using their EV architecture and Rivian so they will be? Well, there's a little more detail to this story than I think what people are hearing. Here are the full details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It would be great to have you as a YouTube member. Some of our videos are posted in the member section. Of course, the idea is to add value to you guys for becoming a member of the channel. And that, that obviously supports me and helps me to keep this channel going. Rivian have announced that, uh, well, the headlines getting around everywhere, which are obviously completely false, are things like this. Rivian says its platform will be used by all Volkswagen EVs. Now, this is quite an honest headline from car scoops. Everyone else is just saying all new Volkswagen Group EVs, all of them, in other words, all Volkswagen cars, all 8 million of them, if as long as the Volkswagen, or 9 million, as long as the Volkswagen Group can maintain its sales, which it won't. But anyway, they'll all be Rivians. Rivian's going to make hundreds of billions of dollars. Well, yeah, it's not actually accurate. So when I first heard this, I thought, wow, this is amazing. What a story. Rivian's going to survive. I want them to survive. This is fantastic news. And I was quite disappointed when I realized that the full story was quite different. Anyhow, the partnership between Rivian and Volkswagen is definitely important, particularly for Rivian. And it's also important for the Volkswagen group. It provides Rivian with a valuable cash injection, which they badly need, considering the amount of money that they're burning. And it also provides Volkswagen with access to EV makers, very good software, and its EV architecture. One of Rivian's most important executives has revealed the tie-up will be even more important for Volkswagen than previously thought. Now, this comes after Rivian and Volkswagen have announced that Volkswagen will invest $5 billion into this joint venture. That's a lot of money. Wasim Ben Said, Rivian's chief software officer, and I should say that's the key point, chief software officer, and co-head of the Rivian Volkswagen joint venture, spoke with Yahoo, and he said that all future EVs from Volkswagen will use the same platform as the American brand's upcoming R2 car. So Rivian are bringing out this new R2 car. It's sort of a direct rival in some ways to the Tesla Model Y, a little bit smaller. There's an R2 and an R3. They're both going to come on the basically the same R2 platform. And the German giant is using its partner's know-how on EVs in order to make better EVs. Rivian are really saying this, and they're saying, you know, Volkswagen Group's EVs aren't that great. In China, of course, they're using x technology, Audi is using Saic, and now in the United States and for the world, apparently, according to Rivian, all future Volkswagen Group vehicles will be using the Rivian EV platform. R2 is the platform that will underpin actually all future EV products from Volkswagen, said Ben Said. It's really that modular, scalable technology stack that we will take into Volkswagen brands. We will do it in a way where we will still allow different brands to express their own identity. So very kind of Rivian to allow Volkswagen to express its own identity. Each brand, each brand will have its own UI look and feel and their own suspension tuning but underneath the guts of the vehicle will be optimized from the same technology and software architecture. The Rivian R2 platform that Ben Said is referring to appears to be limited to the technology stack, not necessarily the physical platform itself. Otherwise, why on earth would uh, the Volkswagen Group be investing in XPeng and Saic and also the PPE and also basically the new, the new MEB Plus platform? Plus, Volkswagen is already deep into the development of its own in-house SSP architecture that has been confirmed to replace the current MEB and will be used by the next generation electric Golf and all electric T-Rock. So clearly Rivian have just been talking what is, to be honest, a bunch of bullshit. 
The Volkswagen Group is also collaborating with, as I said, Xpeng on a separate platform known as the CEA or China Electrical Architecture. And it's got various other platforms in China as well. It's promising to slash costs from the MEB architecture by as much as 40% and will help Volkswagen develop, build and sell more affordable EVs in China. So Chinese cars won't have anything to do with this Rivian R2 platform as Rivian are saying they will. That's not actually accurate. R2 is an evolution of the architecture that we introduced with our Gen 2 vehicles. And there's a ton of lessons learned that went into how we make the R2 from a technology standpoint, from an engineering to manufacturing, said Ben Said, which really kind of muddies the waters. It makes it look like Rivian are claiming that all Volkswagen Group cars worldwide will use their platform. And that, that's not actually the case at all. That is allowing us, said Rivian, to really not only make progress, but we're extremely happy with the maturity of R2 compared to where R1 was. Production of the Rivian R2 will begin in the second half of 2026 and will be followed by the smaller R3 series. So the truth behind all this story is that Rivian believe that uh, all future Volkswagen Group cars worldwide will use their software, right? As part of the platform, their architecture, in some way, Rivian software will be used in those vehicles, all of them. Right, clearly, that's not actually accurate. Um, I'm, I'm going to guess that cars made in the United States, that will be accurate. I'm going to guess that Volkswagen Group cars made in America and maybe Canada, maybe even Mexico, could use their architecture, could use their software. But to say all of them worldwide, it's not true at all. Kind of laughable that this has happened. Uh, re really, Rivian CEO, RJ Scarriage, he, he should have come out and just said, guys, this is not accurate, this story. But um, Rivian have just let this play out. And the Volkswagen Group haven't responded, haven't said anything, which is quite interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments. Guys, I, I do want Rivian to succeed, but not by making these kinds of uh, wild claims. Let's be, let's be real. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Rivian have just revised their numbers for this year. They're gonna deliver less cars this year than last year. They have, they have more models available now. The prices are lower this year than they were last year, and yet this is happening. Now, unfortunately for Rivian, time is not on their side. And they burned through about $2.5 billion in cash in the first six months of the year. That's $2.5 billion of debt added to their books. And if they're producing less cars than last year, it means they're probably paying actually more for the parts than they did. They're saying their suppliers are causing issues, and that potentially could be because their suppliers are worried they won't be paid. Unfortunately, the truth is that um, the US media are being very kind to Rivian. 